looking to set up a VPN on your Nvidia Shield? Well, then this video is for you because today I'll show you how to use Surfshark VPN on your Nvidia Shield. Let's get right into it. For this tutorial, you will need an active Surfshark subscription. So if you don't have one yet, then go to order.surfshark.com and grab an amazing deal today. First things first, we will need to download the Surfshark app on our NVIDIA Shield. To do that, just open up the Google Play Store app on your device and search for Surfshark. Then click on the install button and wait until the installation is complete. Now tap the open button. Once the app is open, we can log in to your Surfshark account. You can either use your registered email address and password to log in, or you can log in with a short numeral code. If you have a two-factor authentication enabled on your Surfshark account, you will have to enter that too. And if you don't have 2FA enabled, you should. And uh, here's a video explaining why. Now, once logged in, let's connect to the VPN. To do that, click on this button here, which will connect you to the fastest server. And just like that, you're connected to the VPN on your Nvidia Shield. If you want to try a different VPN location, then just pick one from the left side. There are hundreds of locations to choose from, so you will definitely find the one that you like or need. At the top, you will also have a choice of connecting to static IP and multi-hop servers. With static IP servers, your IP address will never change. Multi-hop locations, on the other hand, will route your connection through two different VPN servers instead of one. This will add additional security at the cost of internet speed. One last thing to note here is that next to every location, you will see a small bubble and a star. The bubble indicates server load. So the less filled the bubble is, the less loaded a particular location will be, resulting in an overall smoother connection. And if you click on the star icon, you will favorite a location. So the next time you'll need to connect there, it will appear at the top of the list, making it easier for you to find. Now that you're familiar with the process of connecting to the VPN, we can check out some of the other Surfshark features. So by going to the Features tab on the left side, we can find CleanWeb and Bypasser. With CleanWeb enabled, you will get less ads while browsing online. Bypasser will allow you to route or bypass your VPN connection on specific apps that you choose. So for instance, if I only need a VPN to be active on the browser, I'll just pick it from the Route VPN options here. Or let's say you have a game that doesn't work with a VPN, simply let it bypass the VPN connection. Lastly, let's go to the settings panel by selecting it here on the bottom left. In the VPN settings, we can customize the quick connect button. You can choose from the fastest, nearest location or a specific server. Next, you can also enable auto connect, which as the name implies, will automatically connect you to the VPN without having to worry about doing it yourself. Kill switch is a great feature that will switch off your internet whenever your VPN connection drops. This doesn't happen very often, but when it does happen, it's nice to know that your real location and IP never got exposed thanks to Kill Switch. Last but not least, we got the protocol option. If you are not familiar with VPN protocols, I highly recommend watching this video right here. But generally, you don't need to change your VPN protocol unless you are having some kind of connection issues. That's all for the VPN settings panel. If we go back and select app settings, we will find more options to go over. At the top, you will see which app version you are using. Always make sure that you're using the latest version of the app. The Google Play Store will update your app automatically if you have auto updates enabled. Just below that, you will find the language setting. And here at the bottom, you will have an option to submit your device diagnostics. You can use this option if you're having any kind of issues and our customer success team will get in touch with you within 24 hours, providing you the best solutions. Now, if we go back to the settings again, we can visit the final My Account Options menu. Here you can log out of the app and extend your Surfshark subscription. Well, that's all you need to know about the Surfshark app on your NVIDIA Shield. But that is all from me. Take care.